Today, our verse is Jonah chapter 3, verse 10. When God saw what they did, how they turned from their evil way, God relented of the disaster that he had said he would do to them, and he did not do it. The book of Jonah is one of those interesting prophetic books. It is very brief and does not contain oracles as we find in other prophetic books. The story is about God's loving kindness. God sent Jonah to go and preach repentance to the people of Nineveh. Jonah earlier refused and ran away from God. But after his terrible experience, his three days inside the great fish, he accepted to go to Nineveh. Nineveh was a non-Jewish city, the capital of Assyria. It was an evil city. But God sent the prophet Jonah to the city to demonstrate that his loving kindness extends to all peoples. When Jonah preached to the people of Nineveh, they declared a fast and repented from the king to the least person. Even the animals were made to fast. You can imagine that. Our verse focuses on the response of God to the repentance of the people. When God saw how they turned from their evil way, God relented the disaster he had said he would do. A question may arise here. Can God relent or repent or change his mind? The word in Hebrew, racham, means to regret or have a change of heart. We know according to the book of Numbers, God is not man that he should lie or a son of man that he should change his mind. Numbers chapter 23 verse 19. This means that we must understand the changing of mind according to how we talk as human beings. God already knew that if he sends the prophet Jonah to Nineveh, the people will repent. The essence of the message to the people was to steer them to repentance. It was never to destroy them. God never intended to destroy them at all. God is always interested in our repentance. He never wants evil things to happen to us. Sometimes, if not most times, we turn away from God to do our own thing and then incur evil actions upon ourselves. Some people have associated the present pandemic with the sins of the world. Even if it is, many Christians are praying for God's mercy. And God will always have mercy as he has done in the past in history. May God answer our prayers and deliver us from this disease that has ravaged the world, that has stolen our peace, that has obstructed our lives, and that has claimed so many lives. Lord, have mercy on the world. Yes, we have sinned and continuously turned away from you. Look on us with kindness and show us your mercy. Amen. God bless you and I wish you a wonderful day.